What's up guys? I'm Tyler. And I'm Brittany. We're Wallace Farm and Sawmill. Today, I got a big surprise for you guys. Now, the camera's currently facing us, and behind us our other sawmill, and then this way is our band mill. But guys, right in front of me right now is something new, something different. I've been wanting one for a while, so I'm gonna flip the camera around and I'm gonna show you what I found. All right, guys, so check it out. Let's see, we'll go ahead in the comments down below and tell me what you guys see here. What do you think this is? All right, let me go ahead and tell you what it is. I've been specifically searching for a Frick sawmill for quite a while, and I finally found one that uh, I could get my hands on. It wasn't too far away. So that's it. We're buying another sawmill. And, uh, yeah, I keep, I keep, I got a problem with buying sawmills. Um, but this one I'm going to keep around. Now, this sawmill here is going to be, I've just about made my mind up. I'm going to restore this one. And uh, we're going to set this up in a additional location. At first, I was going to implement it in with my other one and maybe use this carriage. But I think I've made my mind up. I want to, uh, I want to use this one in a different location. So we're going to put it. We're gonna move all this stuff out right here. We're gonna bring in some clay through here and we're gonna set it up. You'll see, stay tuned for that. But now the big, tri uh, the big trouble problem, whatever you wanna say about this is, we gotta get this sawmill off. And uh, all I got is the Kubota tractor to lift it. So I'm probably gonna have to lift the carriage off, set it down, then lift the the tracks off here, set them down, then put the carriage back onto the tracks. But uh, I'll have to lift them individually. But yeah, it's three head blocks. We'll see, we'll go back here. Let me show you what we got going on. This is the carriage, tracks below, another section of tracks on the back side. This is miscellaneous parts um, that we got for it as well. Here's the husk. Here's your mechanisms where your belts go and your feet and all that. Mandrel, collars, simple stuff. Let me come around here and I'll show you. These are some extra metal pylons and stuff they had uh, where it was set up. It was set up on the mountainside. This is an additional piece of track section. I think they had it extended a little bit beyond what it originally was. So may or may not need that. We'll just see. Depends on how long we the, you know we want to cut with it. Um, got an extra knee and head block there so yeah so i guess guys it's just time to get this thing unloaded let's see what we got we'll lay it out all right let's get her unsnapped off of here and then we'll start uh setting her off of the tractor and such
All right, so we know we want to have this sawmill sanded and repainted. So, write down in the comments, guys, and tell us what color do you think that we should uh, repaint this sawmill? All right, guys, I don't want to set this on the ground over there. So I got to get my forks out from under it for one. And uh, I don't want it rotting away over here. And this is something we're going to get on working on really quick. So it's not going to sit here for long, but still, let's get it up on some timber so it's not on the ground. All right, guys so come over here and i'm gonna show you these the way these work right here these uh, hangers whatever you want to refer to it but they, they hold these bearings in place and you got two of them on the mandrel here and then there's one just pillow block bearing on the end of the mandrel down here so to keep from bowing swaying or anything i want to go ahead and take this out as one piece i don't want to lift it with this so y'all hear the loud plane up there so to keep from lifting that and this hanging off the end real far and everything, I'm going to take this off these hangers. I had to soak them in oil, so I decided to soak them in some penetrating oil, and then I went in the house for a minute to eat some lunch. Get these off here. These are like lock nuts. I'll get around there too, that one. Let's see if we can get this one loosened. Oh yeah. Yeah, penetrating oil did its job for sure. So I'm gonna get this removed right here on either side, and then we're gonna come in here and lift this mandrel out from the husk frame separate. All right, guys, I got the mandrel completely unbolted from the husk frame, and I've got a few small parts here that Brittany ran over and got me this pallet to put these parts on. So I'm going to uh, kind of wrestle a few heavy parts into position here we're gonna get them we're gonna put these in my shop that I recently cleaned up over here and uh, put these in the back corner until we can get to these individual pieces we're going through and I'm gonna install this sawmill to work here now it's probably gonna be over a couple of months to get this thing right but I'm gonna go through individual sections and I'm gonna set up some some videos that we will be doing about this process as it goes along. We'll make it a video series of restoring this thing. But it won't take terribly long. It ain't gonna happen overnight either. But there'll be a continual work effort on it get it set up and in its place. The first time I did this, guys, I had no clue at all what I was doing, and I was getting started into this. Now that I have a general idea of what circle milling is, and I've been doing it for now for, let's see, about nine or ten years, this is nowhere near as daunting of a task for me to take on. 
this is just a matter of now that I know what I'm doing after these years of doing this work, um, I'm gonna be a little bit more picky about it. And that will take a little bit of time with me being picky. Cause now I know what I want and I know how things are supposed to be. So I'm gonna be particular about how I do it. Well, we got that unloaded. Everything is all stacked up. Got parts in the shed over there. And Miss Brittany is back to working. So we're over here getting set up now to do the normal daily duties of pallet wood. What you think about that? Uh, I think I'm about ready to start doing pallet wood again because that was rough. <laughs> yeah, it's more work unloading and doing that type of stuff than it is to being here just doing the regular old daily grind i think so anyway guys we've uh got a little bit to brush up here but we did a little cleaning around our shed and got everything a little more organized lately always feels good to work in a clean environment but sometimes it just i'm greasy and filthy right now from unloading that thing i just noticed it's like all over my face and everything <laughs> but uh yeah we, we did a little cleanup around here feels good to work in a clean environment and i've heard i've had a few comments down the way Oh, I'll clean this, I'll clean that. There's two of us here. We tired. We run a <laughs> we run a business six and seven days a week sometimes, guys. And what I mean by that is you say, well, you run it all the time, you could clean. I'm literally sawmilling six and seven days a week, <laughs> keeping up with orders. So sometimes cleanup has to be on like just a set aside specific day for that only, and that was Monday. So here we are on Tuesday unloading another project and doing our daily grind again so we're gonna get probably 500 pallet parts cut today that's the goal and then i'm gonna finish cleaning this last little portion of the shed which is right over through here see that section there that ain't been touched that's got to get stripped out so guys if you want to see us finish that big sawmill project which i kind of you know sometimes when i get like hyper focused on something she gets mad because I go to blowing money and fixing stuff. I can't it's help it. It's a problem. It. It's a problem. <laughs> but I'm a little focused right now that I'm about to put that sawmill. You see over here, there's that. Yeah, I ain't going to point. But anyway, the cedar log pile behind me and that little open area between the two sawmill sheds, that's where there's going to be another sawmill. And I'm going to make it how I want it. And you guys are going to get to follow along. So if you want to see that in the future, follow here on YouTube because that's what we're doing. Also, Brittany's got... Uh, our Patreon, uh, come on over there and follow us there, and our t-shirts. Yeah, so on our Patreon, Brittany's already posted and everybody's already seen yep. the new sawmill before all YouTube guys. That's the perks, but, you know, I'm going to show you here anyway, so like, comment, and subscribe for future content. Till next time, guys. See ya.